by Vince Morales. Normally, this is where I would introduce you as the featherweight champion, Vince Morales. But uh, as you saw earlier on Facebook uh, a few days ago, Vince Morales announcing that he has relinquished that featherweight title to move down to the Bantamweight decision. And Vince, what really went in that decision? Why was now the time to make that decision? So a big part of that for me was just uh, looking at going forward in my career and things like that. I, I just know in order to get to that elite level, you got to take the right steps. you got to make certain sacrifices. Sacrificing that belt had to be one of those sacrifices, just looking at the bigger picture of me taking the right step in that direction. You mentioned that right step. What also went into the decision to, to drop down to the Bantamweight division? Was it was it, was a weight-cutting decision? Was it a health decision? Why the Bantamweight division and why now? For me, it's just a, a big part of it. I, I wasn't cutting much weight, so um, for some of the fights, it almost seemed like some of the difference in skill level was made up from the size. So me just trying to level the playing field, get down to the, my proper division where size-wise I'm going to fit right in. Now I, I feel like I can just like let some of my proper skills show. Of course, you are among one of the fighters that we have seen grow up in their career here inside the Front Street Fights cage, starting as an amateur bout in the featherweight division, moving up to the pro portion. Uh, and again, the inaugural featherweight champion, you know, forever in the history of Front Street Fights, you will be known as the first. You were the first guy uh, to hold that strap. Obviously, when you get into it, you want to hold any strap in any promotion uh, in whatever weight class you you compete in, but what did it mean to you to be the guy that will always be known as the first ever featherweight champion in front street fights? It, it meant a lot. It was a big fight for me. Um, I've, I've worked my the majority of my career here at front street, so this was a promotion that I was proud to be representing, and I felt like I was a good champion for that spot, and I, I'm just looking forward to keep moving forward, going to my proper weight, and taking it to the next level, representing front street a little better. Of course, one of the contenders in the featherweight division, Matt the Stripling Warrior Jones. Uh, a couple weeks before you made your announcement, uh, matchmaker Todd Carlson did announce that Matt Jones is now the number one contender for that strap, and that was, again, before you had relinquished the title. Uh, you know, I, I know you're not a guy to back down from the challenge. I know that had nothing to do with it. But, you know, you and you and Matt actually, you know, you know each other pretty well. You guys fought as amateurs. What do you think that fight would have been like, and, and would that have been one you would have gladly accepted? Gladly. I mean, I think that would have been one of probably one of the best fights Front Street's had as far as what the direction we're both headed and the skill levels we bring to that fight. Um, Matt's, Matt's a great fighter, man. I've been watching him grow just well. We've been growing side by side this whole time. So um, I look forward to see how he's going to keep competing in the division and going on from there. Um, it would have been a great fight. Unfortunately, it's just going different ways. Well, and speaking of the two divisions, the featherweight division and the bantamweight division, arguably – uh, the two toughest divisions and largest divisions within Front Street Fights. You look down at the list of competitors in the Bantamweight division for Front Street Fights, of course, uh, the champion in that division, uh, none other than Jesse Brock. What do you think of the current makeup of the Front Street Fights Bantamweight division? Are there any opponents you're eyeing, and uh, do you think you know, maybe a title fight in your future here at Front Street is something you might want? Fingers crossed. That's really what I'm hoping for was a, a title fight here real soon. Um, we're, that division is full of strong competitors. I mean, uh, with Hamilton, Steele, Jesse Brock, all those guys, they're all legit fighters. I mean, I look at them all the same, just an opponent for me. Um, just get me in there with one of them. You know, one final question. We obviously know one of your biggest training partners, Casey Wildstyle Johnson, typically fights at Bantamweight. He did challenge Jesus Glavos for the flyweight uh, champion drop back down there. Do you think that's going to be an advantage for you, having a guy that fights in that division, usually around that weight class, or is just training as usual at this point regardless? It's, it's training as usual. I mean, we're both around the same size before the fights come, come along. So um, it, it helps. We know we know the speed. We know the strength. We know the skill level there. It's, it's going to be training as usual. Really. All right, Vince. Well, thank you so much for being the first three fights for the weight champion. Uh, you represented that title very, very well. You're always a class act, class fighter. We love having you out here, man. We can't wait to see what you're going to do in our Bantamweight division. Look forward to it. Thank you.